Hey guys, my name's Sam Bradbury. I'm a 23 year old Forex trader and in today's video I'm actually going to give you an extremely simple strategy that you can actually use to make money from your phone. So let's get right into it. Um, basically, uh, if you haven't already seen my how to trade series, then make sure you go and actually have a look at that. I'll leave a link in the description somewhere above. Um, but I have had a few messages of people asking me how how can you actually trade from your phone, right? Uh, some people may not have laptops or computers, but they still want to utilize the foreign exchange market to actually make some money. Um, and using your phone is still a good way to do this, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna go through the whole MetaTrader 4 app and give you guys an extremely simple strategy that you can actually use to start making money in the foreign exchange market, okay? So let me quickly record my screen uh, so I can show you guys exactly what I'm doing. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna go to MetaTrader 4, okay? Um, I've actually deleted my accounts just for this video so that um, obviously I don't want to be uh, making any income claims or um, showing you guys uh, how much money I've got in my trading accounts, okay? So what we're going to do, first of all, this is what your MetaTrader is going to look like as soon as you start uh, the app or as soon as you download the app, okay? So you're going to go to new account. Now, I'm actually going to open a demo account, okay, uh, just to show you guys what it is that I'm actually doing, um, and I'm going to choose Hugo's Way, okay? Now, when you open uh, a live account or a demo account, it, it doesn't really matter, um, but you can, um, it, it'll be exactly the same, so you'll go to, um, if I go back, you'll go to log into an existing account and just find your broker on there so if I was looking for Hugo's way as an example I would go to Hugo's way and then just enter the login details that um, I would have been sent in my email okay um, and if you do want to make a live account I do have some links in the description to Hugo's way and XM they're the two brokers that I'm working with um, so yes so let's set up a demo account and let's start trading okay so um, Hugo's Way is the account that I'll be setting up. Oh, you can see, oh, that's my old phone number and stuff. That's okay. Uh, I might I might just edit that out anyway. Uh, but yeah, so let's set up a demo account. Uh, once you come onto this screen, you'll see leverage, okay? Now Hugo's Way allows a lot of leverage, um, one to 500 leverage, which is absolutely huge. Um, you will never ever need this much leverage. Um, and if you do use that much leverage, then you're definitely risking way too much. Um, I just leave it at one to 500 just because um, I know how much I'm risking per trade. Um, and uh, I'm, I know that I'm not going to go over my, my own risk management, okay? Um, but, I mean, if, if you're worried that you might risk a little bit too much, then lower your leverage a little bit. Uh, but yeah, for now, this is okay. I'm, I'm just going to keep it at 1 to 500. And I'm going to put a realistic amount in as well. So I'm not going to start with a 100000 or a $500,000 uh, trading account. I'm just going to start with a $3,000 trading account. Um, and then I'm going to register that account and then obviously uh, make make my account there, okay? The first thing you're gonna see uh, at the bottom of your screen, go over to quotes, and this is where you're going to see um, all of the different foreign exchange uh, market uh, currency pairs, okay? So these are currency pairs. These are uh, essentially, you're trading one of these currencies against the next one. So the top one we can see is Australian dollar to the US dollar, um, and then Euro to the US dollar, etc. What I like to do, I like to get rid of absolutely all of them. Um, and then what I do is I go to add, uh, so add symbol, um, and then I go to FX crosses, add all the FX crosses because this will be in alphabetical order and it just looks a lot nicer. And then I go to the FX majors and add all of the FX majors so that um, I'm not I'm not looking at all the exotic pairs. I'm not looking at indices, futures, uh, crypto or anything like that just yet. You can add those later. So if I wanted to add Bitcoin as an example, I could go over to BTC USD and add that and that will now show up in my quotes, okay? Uh, so this is now at the bottom of my quotes. I can go onto the chart and I can have a look at what Bitcoin is doing um, on the chart as well. So 
now that we've got all of our um, all of our tools, all of our currency pairs on our quotes, um, I do like to just move them around a little bit. So you'll see that the US dollar uh, from the FX majors um, has actually gone gone to the bottom. So I like to move the AD uh, to where all the AUD pairs are, um, and then uh, Euro to the Euro pairs. So just under uh, Euro NZD, and then again with GBP to uh, GBP US dollar um, to where the GBP currencies are. Okay, so now we've got our set our, our MT4 setup. It's looking clean. Okay, which which I like. It's in alphabetical order, which is perfect. So now what we can do is actually find a strategy, um, and I'm going to show you guys how to actually place a trade as well. Okay, um, so first of all, the strategy that I'm going to be using is the 50 and 4 strategy. Okay. This is, um, I did uh, on my fourth uh, video, okay, on the series of how to trade, I actually showed you guys how to use the moving averages. Um, so essentially what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to, how you can actually add these to your phone, to your MetaTrader app, and you can start reading the chart through your phone, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, indicators, okay? And then you're going to have uh, moving averages. So we're going to go to indicators. Uh, we, you're going to have your moving averages at the top. Okay, so I'm just going to delete them so you guys can see exactly how I'm going to do it. Uh, so click on main window and then moving average. This is going to be your exponential moving average. It might come up as simple to begin with um, and start at something like nine or something like that. But you can now change this. Uh, so if it was a simple moving average, we're going to use a four simple moving average. Okay. Um, and oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, so we're going to go back to <laughs> indicators, moving average, uh, and I'm going to change the color to blue. Okay. Um, and again, with the width, I like to use a thicker width so that I can see what the what the lines are actually doing. Okay, so I use three pixels. You can use four if you want to, um, and that's it. Now, this four simple moving average is going to give us the average of the four previous candles. So it's going to move fairly closely with the market. But what I like about it is, <coughs> as I've explained in in uh, previous videos, we are. Um, we are looking for momentum, okay? So what I like about using this strategy is that um, we are only going to see, if I quickly screenshot this so I can show you guys, uh, we are only going to see the market turn around once we have that momentum, okay? Uh, let me just get rid of that. So once we've actually seen that momentum, okay? That momentum moving down, once we've seen that momentum, then the blue line will change direction. Uh, so because it's the average of four moving averages, okay? So what we're looking for is for that momentum, for that, um, for that push down to get into a sell position and we're looking for a push up uh, for a buy position. So the next thing that we're going to add is the uh, moving average. Now this one I like to have as an exponential moving average and uh, put that as 50 and then I like to have the color as purple okay um, just because I well that's just what I like to use you can use whatever colors you like as long as you know the difference um, obviously the the 50 moving average is going to be the 50 uh, the average of the 50 previous candles so it is going to move um, it's going to move a lot differently to the four okay it's going to move a lot slower because it's, got, it's a bigger average so now what we what we're looking for is uptrend or downtrend okay so in an uptrending market we're only looking for buy trades in a downtrending market we're only looking for sell trades okay so we're looking for an uptrend or a downtrend how do we actually find uh what's going on well we can see um over here if I uh, just look over here, so we can see that the market actually moved down and broke previous lows, right? So the market actually broke previous lows, so now we might be looking for a sell position. So the next thing we saw was that the market actually moved up and then started moving back down. So uh, how could we actually get involved in this trade setup? Um, first thing, uh, let, me, let me see, so first thing, we're going to go to objects. Okay. 
So we're gonna get our Fibonacci retracement tool, okay? And same thing, we can use this on our phone exactly like how you would use it on, uh, on TradingView. Um, and we're gonna bring it from the top of the previous high or the high that uh, was, was made before. Oh, and this is the first time I'm actually using this on this chart, by the way, guys. So this isn't, uh, I haven't set this up before the video. It genuinely is just the first chart that I've seen. Um, and we're just looking at this chart, okay? So from, from top to bottom, so we're going from uh, this high over here, this high to the next low, and then pull back to the 618 retracement. Okay, so it literally pulled back to the 618. Um, as soon as it started rejecting that 618, what we can do is we can actually go onto a lower time frame. So we're on the one hour right now. We can go to a lower time frame and we can start seeing as soon as it as soon as it breaks below. Okay, so maybe maybe you wanted to see um, maybe after this candle, maybe you wanted to get in then. Um, or maybe you just uh, got in as soon as you started seeing this bearish momentum. Um, as soon as this, uh, as soon as this candle broke below this sort of area over here, uh, maybe that's where you would have got in. So, as, oops, let me get rid of this. So somewhere around um, this blue line over here. As soon as you started seeing it move away from there, uh, maybe that's where you wanted to get into the market, and then. Ex the same thing um, as I've spoken about before, we're going to put our stop loss above the previous high and then take profit to the minus two seven, okay? So again, we're, we're taking profit. Um, so let's say our entry was around here. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get rid of the uh, Fibonacci tool for, for now. Um, in fact, no, let me let me just put that back quickly. <laughs> so uh, just to just to find our take profit, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add another line down here. Okay, so this would have been our take profit over here. Um, properties, I'm gonna change this to green. Um, and then what we're gonna do is add another line just above the previous high. Um, and this is gonna be our stop loss. So I will make this red. Um, just to show you guys a little bit clearer. Okay, cool. So now um, we've got our trade set up, okay? So let me just delete the Fibonacci retracement now. So this would have been our trade set up. If we look at the one hour again, uh, this is what it looked like. Uh, we can see our, um, our, well, it hit our take profit fairly quickly. Um, obviously it did have a pullback. So after, uh, after we made this big, uh, bearish move it did have a pullback so maybe maybe you might have closed out with uh, just a little bit of profit um, or or if you did just hold it if you had your stop loss just at break even um, and you weren't trailing that stop loss um, then yeah maybe you could have held it all the way to take profit um, now this trade right here the reason why we would have got into this trade okay a few reasons okay first of all one thing you guys need to watch or go and read, okay, or learn about is candlestick confirmations. Um, so there's a, a book called um, the Candlestick Bible. Uh, it's absolutely phenomenal. You could see that this is a doji candle um, over here. Um, and essentially what that means is, as you can see that it's got a very small body and bigger wicks. Um, and essentially what that means is the market is undecisive of where it wants to go, okay? The next thing that you can see is that the blue line started, uh, well, it came back up to the 50 EMA and uh, it kind of rejected that zone um, and the blue line started to move down, okay? As soon as the blue line starts to move down, we can now take this for a sell um, and that's, that's pretty much how this trade would have gone. Um, and then again, we're just putting our stop loss above the previous high. Uh, take profit below, uh, sorry, take profit at the minus 27 Fibonacci retracement zone. Um, and boom, that's multiple confirmations uh, to be able to take this this kind of trade, okay? Um, and we can see that our, our entry was at uh, 0.959. Our, take, our stop loss was at 0 0.9602. Uh, so that would have been... Uh, a 12 pip stop loss for a uh, 40 pip, almost 40 pip uh, reward. So one to three point something uh, risk 
to reward ratio on this trade uh, which again it's it's just a really nice a really nice trade okay uh, now what what I normally do when I'm actually trading like this is I will literally just go through every single chart and just have a look at what the market's doing of course right now the market's closed because it is the weekend and we can see that every time the market pulls up okay so let me get some uh, tools out uh, so every time the market pulls up to the um, to the 50 exponential moving average it starts to move away okay and then again it pulls up to the 50 exponential moving average and then starts to move away so every time we see that the blue line starts moving away from the 50 okay every time the blue line moves away from the uh, purple line this is when we're going to start taking sell positions but again we're just using different confirmations like the Fibonacci uh, we, we're going to be using things like the Fibonacci retracement tool um, or you can even add um, maybe add uh, a, a different kind of indicator maybe you want to add an oscillator um, so let's see so oscillators maybe you want to add a uh, relative strength index um, 14 close yeah um, so maybe you want to add the relative strength index as well and use that to trade um, you can literally use a lot well every tool that you need is on MetaTrader 4 as well okay um, on on the app the computer version I don't really like that much but um, trading view is absolutely phenomenal if you are on a computer or a laptop but if you do need to trade um, on your phone you can just use uh, well there's loads of indicators on there and you can use your phone okay um, so yeah again I'll literally just go through every single chart have a look and see what's going on this one you can see that uh, it looks like it's about to start uh, pushing down uh, the only problem that I see here though is that it has um, well in fact it might not even be a problem uh, but it's not it's not creating lower highs okay um, so it, it's kind of um, yeah it's, it's it, it doesn't really know what it wants to do in this zone okay but again is this is all like after you've learned what you need to learn you'll start seeing different patterns like this in the market but it is a strong resistance and possibly uh, that's why it's it's not um, well it's it's kind of coming close to that zone each time um, but yeah I mean I would probably like to see it break at least these lows previous lows behind here um, so these lows over here at least break these lows and then uh, I could maybe target the previous low over here um, and yeah we'll see but either way we can see that it's come close to the purple line and as soon as it starts moving away from the purple line we can start taking trades um, and make sure that the blue line okay so your four moving average is actually facing away from the purple line before you take a trade okay if it's if if the market has just hit the purple line and that blue line is still facing the purple line you still need to wait for that uh, for that um, blue line to change direction before you want to take that trade um, so yeah again literally just scroll through the charts see what's going on this just looks very choppy not something that I would like to trade um, and again this works on any time frame absolutely any time frame it just means that if you're using a bigger time frame okay um, if you're on a bigger time frame you're gonna have a bigger stop loss uh, more risk but possibly more reward as well <laughs> so um, so yeah and it will take a longer time for you to obviously hit take profits and stuff like that but it is extremely accurate on any chart as you can see over here we can see this big uptrend um, every time it came back to the uh, purple line as soon as it moved away okay so you can see over here it did actually break below the purple line which is why we don't just take buys because it's at the purple line um, you can see that the uh, you can see that as soon as it came down and touched this purple line uh, it did break through but then when it came back above and started moving up then boom we can take that trade so look guys uh, I want to stop it there um, so yeah make sure you subscribe ring that bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos and I will see you all soon thank you very much